Now, earlier this week at WWDC 2019, Apple announced iPad OS, which gave the Apple Pencil a couple of new features that should excite existing Apple Pencil owners. So let's take a look at what these new features are. The second generation Apple Pencil is without a doubt the best stylus for any tablet in the market right now. When Apple introduced the second generation Pencil with these new 11 inch and 12.9 inch iPad Pro, it had a pretty low 20 millisecond latency. But with iOS 13 and iPad OS, the latency has been brought down to just 9 millisecond, which is pretty impressive. Now, according to Apple, the pencil feels more natural and it's now using a more advanced prediction algorithms and optimization to reduce that latency. Now, to the naked eye, you won't really notice a huge difference, but just know that it's going to be more accurate after the update. Now, of course, all of this change will vary depending on your hardware. So if you're using the latest generation iPad Pro with ProMotion display with the second generation Apple Pencil, this will give you the best performance versus an iPad without ProMotion and using the first generation Pencil. Now, with iPad OS, you can also now swipe up from the bottom left or right corner of your iPad to take a quick screenshot and start marking up documents right away. Another cool feature with this new screenshot tool is that you can now select full page if you're screenshotting a website, for example, and you can annotate, jot down notes, and save this as a PDF directly to the Files app or email it or message it by using the new share sheet in iOS 13. In the Notes app with iOS 13's dark mode, the Notes app look a lot pleasing to the eyes and jotting down notes look and feel a lot better. There's now a redesigned tool palette that gives you quick access to tools, color palettes, shapes, object eraser, and a new pixel eraser for removing any part of a stroke. Now, most of these features, including the new screenshot functionality, will also be available for the first generation Apple Pencil, as well as the Logitech Crayon. Now, all of these new changes in iPad OS will make the iPad a lot more useful come this fall when iPad OS is officially out for the public. Now, with Sidecar in Mac OS and an iPad as your secondary display, and if you happen to have an iPad with pencil support, you'll now be able to use your iPad in a lot of pro apps like Final Cut Pro, Maya, and Adobe Illustrator, just to name a few. Now, if you're curious about Sidecar and how it works in Mac OS Catalina, check out our video, which we will link down below. Anyways, that's been it for iPad OS and the new Apple Pencil features. Stay tuned to the Apple Insider YouTube channel for more content like this, and we'll see you in the next one. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.